tell you something. Embrace the moment. Have a ton of fun. Enjoy every single day. Together on three, one, two, three. Together. As a senior, tonight's game means everything. We've been to the championship four years in a row, and the last two, we lost it. We are on the road. Yes, Kira! So we want to make sure that we can go home with this trophy. We're going to just give it our all and just make sure that we play together, play hard, and bring it home. Now in the right, Kyla Charles, one of their veteran seniors, puts it up. We want to win so bad that we're just trying to do everything we can to win. And I know Kyla is really feeling it. Go, Sprint, Kyla! Kyla! After the first game, I didn't really have a really good game. I was kind of frustrated because I'm a senior, I want to perform at a high level every single game, but I did it, and luckily my teammates had my back and we didn't have to go home because of that. In the absence of Kyla Charles, who's only got two points to it for Maryland, Mike Sell has really stepped up her game. When you are challenged by something, I mean something really difficult. Stu's definitely helped me out this weekend with my mental game. He texted me after the game and was just like, you have until five o'clock to feel whatever emotion about the game, but after five, you need to forget it, you need to wipe it away. There was just no point of dwelling on it. The fact is, like, I just had to know what I need to do better and execute the next game. So I'm just ready to go play tonight. So Braxton Miller and the Buckeyes turn it over. I think that the most important part of this is to understand that we have three seniors that were here from the start, a fourth senior that's been here for the last two years. And they've been understanding how to manage their mind and all the ways of reframing difficult moments and challenging moments. And another three buried by Sheldon this time. Ohio State, red hot to start this game. And so in many ways, this is a culmination of years of practice. This isn't just one speech that they've heard and, and one message that I gave or one message that coach gave. This is them being here. And Elusive is the Big Ten freshman of the year gets the bucket, but Ohio State answers quickly. Well, I was going to say, Ohio State needs to be concerned about their transition defense, but so does Maryland apparently. Being in that battle again and again teaches you how to keep yourself focused. Blair Watson, the senior, puts it in. They're ready for this, and it's really important to understand that the process of this didn't start this week. It started years ago for these guys, and, and they're ready for this moment. We gotta pick it up right now. We're not gonna play catch up. We're gonna go on our run right here and just keep the hammer on them, all right? Let's not make this a question. Let's, 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 this is something we feel like at Maryland we're built for. They're tired. Let's get a transition. Yeah, we gotta run. Like, we gotta get the ball. We can go. Quite honestly, you know, for our seniors, they've come up empty handed the last two years. So um, we've continued to understand we're playing for our seniors. We communicate. Don't gamble. Play Maryland defense. We want to send them out the right way, and we've been able to get the regular season champs, but we have even more goals ahead for ourselves. They took their punch. Here's our part. I just believe in my team so much, and I feel like if we just play our game like we've been doing, we'll be successful. Ohio State has an early lead over Maryland in this Big Ten Championship final. I think Maryland basketball is all about trusting the people around you. I think if we don't have that trust, then a lot of our, our, our defense doesn't work, a lot of our sets don't work, but I think when we're working together, when we're trusting ourselves, and when we're trusting our system, then it's really hard to beat us. Both teams getting some flow on offense right now. A touch of the paint for Ohio State again, and Arusa being aggressive off of the bounce here. But you missed the layup on the two-on-one. Kyle Charles keeps it alive, gets it over to Arusa. Very unselfish play. Ohio State was definitely giving us some trouble in the beginning. They came out ultra aggressive. Outside shot drops for the three. But once we locked in on defense and focused in, we were able to get the stops that we needed to get on a stretch and go on a run. Oh, just cradles it. Good defense coming over to help out. And have to move the ball around. So good defensively. Ultimately, we were able to build that cushion with our defense, and it went up from there. And that one, two, two, three quarter court. Maryland gets to stop. Six straight possessions now. Ohio State has come up empty. Masonis, good look to Jones. Masonis does not get a lot of playing time. And Stephanie Jones and Ashley Russo really combining. They've got 23 points between them. 
And Stephen Jones doesn't get credit for just being in the right place at the right time, fighting for position, making herself a passing option. Steady, consistent. Stephanie is always our most valuable player when you talk about uh, the unsung hero behind the scenes. And she just brought it uh, all three days. You could feel um, just how important, uh, you know, she wanted to leave as a champion and uh, wanted to do whatever it took for this team. The song is bottled up, so Jones is free and Faith found her for her second assist. We needed her energy, her confidence, her toughness, her resiliency to be able to help us through so many incredible stretches. And on the block, Stephanie Jones, a very, very good first half. Why is she 100% from the field? Because she takes smart shots, right? That's, that's why you can watch when the ball goes in, she is never going to take a bad shot. That's why she's on the floor every second, right? She's never going to take a bad shot. That's how you want to play. That's the kind of teammates you want playing with you, right? And we understand what that first half looked like. We saw the second quarter, what it needs to look like. From here, we just push with our defense and sharing the basketball on the offensive end. Easy game. Let's not complicate it. Let's go, Mike. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Here we go, White. After one half of play in Indianapolis, Maryland leads Ohio State 44 to 35 in the Big Ten Championship game. The regular season champs trying to add a tournament trophy. Keep running, let's look at four high man or zone. All right. Let's... I definitely think that during the first half of Ohio State really gave us their best shot. Nominate on three, one, two, three. Okay. I think that our team like really showed a lot of resilience to be able to come back and fight back the way we did. And there's where you start to see the fatigue, transition defense, not getting back, not rotating, and Maryland will run you off the floor if you let them control the pace. This is day three on tired legs, but we, you know, pushed through it. I mean, I love the fact that everybody contributed. We had multiple players in double figures. Mike Sell is getting into it. Too. Maryland with five players in double Digit score. And you see who's not on that list? Kyle Charles. Yeah. I mean, that is depth. That is versatility. This senior class is special, and I think we each brought something different to this game. Kyla, she didn't show up like she usually does for us, but she showed up in other ways, which was very yes. important for this team. Yes! Great play! Blair did what she does, and she defended. Yeah, she <laughs> hit threes. Watson gives herself a round of applause. And I mean, Sarah, she's just huge. Like she's just a spark. Sarah, she, she gives everybody energy, keeps everybody like light. So I mean, everybody brought something today, and I'm just really proud of this team. University of Maryland, the 2020 Big Ten champions. Brenda Freeze's team takes out Ohio State, 82-65. The Terrapin seniors talked about how they wanted to get this championship after falling up short the last couple of years. And they do it. Very impressive for the Terrapins this weekend. Coach, a ton of emotion for this team. What does it mean to see your seniors in particular celebrating this moment? Just, I'm so happy for them. You know, like uh, they have fought so hard to be here every year, but for their senior year to be standing here on the podium, what this team has sacrificed all season long for really special seniors in this locker room and uh, something we are so extremely proud of. Oh, with my teammates on the court. All day, number one. Oh, yeah. I didn't have my best game, but the fact that they came and stepped up when their number was called and was perfect to be needed it, and I'll always cherish these moments. Let's go, Shooter! For me, it kind of just represents the four years of a journey. How hard you have to work to get to these moments and get to these points, but just how sweet, so sweet they are when you get there. To look around the circle at my team and just be like, man, we did it. 
It's an amazing feeling right now. I mean, just to be able to accomplish what we've been talking about all season long. It's just like the best feeling right now. We had a lot of things we wanted to accomplish this season. This is the second one, and now we got one more to go. Go Terps! I mean, I'm just so proud of this team right now. The words can't even describe. It feels amazing. It's unreal, but it's amazing. The most outstanding player, Ashley Awusu! It feels awesome, you know, coming out, being able to win with my teammates. They help me and push me all throughout the year, so I give all credit to them. Yeah, Faye! Yeah, Faye! Tonight was special, really. Just to see the smile on everybody's face and to have everybody like cheering for each other was a great moment. Tonight's win was going to take everyone uh, being together. And uh, for three games in three days, um, we needed each and every player. Kyla Charles! Hey! Couldn't be more proud to be able to see all the unselfishness of each and every person in our program to be able to accomplish such a tremendous goal. Yeah! When I look back at this win, I just see how much we worked for it. These last four years, um, it was hard. It wasn't perfect, but it was worth it for this moment right here. And I'm just so happy and proud of my team. And I'm so glad that we are able to end our season on a high note in terms of the Big Ten Conference and win it. And yeah, we still have plenty more basketball to play in the NCAA tournament, and we're not done yet. Yeah! One seed me! Let's go! In the past two weeks, the number of cases of COVID-19 outside China has increased 13-fold. And the number of affected countries has tripled. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Now to the unprecedented shutdown of virtually all professional and college sports in this country. The NCAA tournament has been canceled for 2020. March Madness, college basketball's premier event canceled. The NCAA has no other choice but to be a responsible global citizen here. It's just a strange feeling. You don't ever think that the season is going to end in such an abrupt and strange way, but here we are. You know, I feel really fortunate that we actually got the opportunity to tell our team in person. We were about five minutes away from practice being over when our deputy AD, Colleen Sorum, came down to share the news with me that the NCAA tournament had been canceled. At the end of practice, we were doing post guard skill work, and I noticed that Coach B, you know, just walked off and was saying everybody go to the locker room, and I just kind of had the vibe that thing we weren't gonna receive good news because like we didn't even bring it in and huddle up and say Maryland on three we just kind of walked off the court and so you know I was just like this is probably my last practice and I wanted to finish the drill with my team so I kind of stayed back a little bit on purpose to just make sure that we got the number of reps that we were trying to and then I ended on a clean make because that was essentially my last practice in a Maryland a uniform as a Maryland turf. I was able to get everyone in our lounge, coaches, players, staff, support staff, everybody. Even our character coaches, we were supposed to meet that day, they were even there. So kind of ironic that we just had the entire family in a place that day. After we were told the news from Colleen Sorum, the first person to speak was Blair Watson. And her words to everyone was, I love you guys. And I think that uh, memory and just her moment in time will, will always be something that I remember. But each and every person that spoke just had powerful, meaningful things to say to our entire team. I just wanted to let them know that I'm really proud of them and that I love them. Uh, we didn't uh, accomplish 
like you know the next the goal that we could have but at least we went out with a um you know with a championship like big 10 championship so i think at least we finished on a good note I just wanted everybody to know how grateful I was for the season we had and how much we accomplished because it was really just amazing everything that we did this year. I was really proud of what we were able to do this season, especially with winning the regular season um, Big Ten Conference Championship and also the tournament championship. I wanted everybody to know, on the teams, like staff included, I was just proud of everybody and that I loved them. It was tough and it was sad. After we talked, we all got up and we were hugging and I shed, it, I shed some tears, I cried because I didn't want to leave. I didn't want my season to end. I didn't want to stop playing with those group of girls. And so it was tough, but that's how things go. And Coach B is always talking about controlling what you can control. And I'm glad that our last memories was winning a championship and cutting down the nets. And that's what I'm always going to remember about my 22. During the meeting, I experienced the Maryland family by just like feeling the love that everybody felt and just knowing that we were all there for each other. I'm really reflecting back on the season makes me realize that you can't take anything for granted. You never know when something is gonna end. Just really thinking back on that, it makes me realize how much I really enjoyed the time that I had with my team and we made every moment count. We were always in it together. Now that I know that playing in the Big Ten Championship game was my last game, being able to put on the Mellon jersey, like I still go back and think about the game. So there's actually two things that I would say I'm reliving over and over again from that weekend. The confetti falling on us, like that's always a moment that I'm gonna cherish. And then a funny moment would be the Pill Banana <laughs> song that we had after the game and the semifinal. It's funny. My favorite memory was just enjoying the the win like the championship after and just seeing how happy everybody was we were dragging sarah in the confetti making confetti angels cutting down the net and swinging it around and putting out my neck was probably my favorite memory because i remember watching shatori and brie do it and i was just like you know what i'm gonna do that So being able to take my netless home and having it almost one of my favorite, favorite memories. You know, I think about after each round, you know, our seniors, I would invite a different one to come up and advance our name through the bracket. Players going over and thanking the band and cheerleaders. So many precious moments, obviously, now knowing that that was going to be our last game together. Ah, super seniors! I gotta go. Super seniors! Obviously, my career here in Maryland is over. I feel like it went by so fast. Even though I've been here for two years. It feels like this, my teammates are became my family, they became my sisters. And you don't really experience that on like every team. I don't know what exactly happened that we became so close, but I feel like it's this, I will value this more than anything because they're my sister for life. Looking back on the season, Something that means more now than it did at the time. Just being able to spend all the time that I did with my teammates, I mean, that meant a lot to me. I kind of took it for granted not being able to be around them now. And that's definitely something that I'm gonna miss. From Maryland, Stephanie Jones. 
validating the relationships and bonds that I had with my teammates. We added new players, but it was like we knew each other forever. We all clicked so well. We had so much fun on and off the court, and we truly, genuinely loved each other. Go, girl. One thing I'm proud of about this senior class is how we were able to stay the course, and no matter what our role was on this team individually, like we were still able to contribute in our own special way. And like in the end, it really made a big impact. <laughs> It's all yours. It's all yours. I think me and my fellow seniors were able to make our program better by just showing the way to our younger players and just showing the standard and bringing the championship back home. Yeah. The tournament championship was basically like our NCAA championship and given the circumstances that was the most that we could have possibly accomplished. And I'm glad that we did. We ended the 2020 season as the outright Big Ten champions. I'm super, super proud of you on behalf of the staff. This season may feel unfinished, but for me, I am always going to have a special place in my heart for our seniors. I think about the journey for them. Love you guys all. Safe travels getting home. This group of seniors stayed the course. There were a lot of highs during their career, but obviously some lows as well. I love the fact that as they stayed the course in their journey, um, they were able to put Maryland back on top and to finish with the win streak and the success that we had this season. Family on three, one, two, three.